in this video we learn about reading from file this is simple code of writing in which i open a file xyz look if i run this code xyz automatically creates here look creates here and parameters given in a write function stored in file xyz.txt now i close this file please watch my previous video for writing a file now i change this mode to the r means reading now i read this file if i run this code with write function it will give error because write function associate only with w mode this is not writable so we use reading type of functions uh, there are many functions but in this video we discuss read function instead of write we use read function now f dot read now read function reads the content from x y z and store to s now if i print s the output of my file is same as the content of x y z that is welcome look that is welcome this is my file now content shifted content reading from the file to python code if i change this content welcome to all and i save this file now if i run this code again now it will read welcome to all not welcome welcome to all run this code again now it is a welcome to all remember s is type of string remember s is type of string you can check by using type function type s now if i run this code this is my content of file welcome to all and uh, class belongs to the string so let's move further please look at again this is read function file is xyz.txt remember this is xyz.txt it must be there it must be on desktop because i save my file p1.py on desktop so it read a file xyz.txt in s if i run this code the content of my file store in s and type of s is string look at the output hope you understand if i change the file xyz to abc.txt look there is no file abc.txt on the desktop if i run this code it will give error look no such file or directory abc.txt so remember friends file must be there for reading file must be present for reading otherwise this type of error will occur uh, now i create a abc.txt here using notepad text document uh, name it abc initially this is a blank file this is blank i store any string for example hello to all in it close the file before closing must save now if i run this code there is no error it will read abc.txt look hello to all class string so you can read any file any file again friends you can read any file abc xyz but file must be there now no need to type uh, no need to print a type if i use length function friends remember length function is used with str uh, string to print the length of the file length of the string i use length s for example hello to all it length store in a l if i run this code now hello to all length is equal to 30 friends in this case remember it will count blank spaces and full stop 
now i delete this code i access the file character by character remember if i want to access a file character by character i use loop for a in s Accessing a file character by character. Every time A will store single character. If I print A, first it will store H, then E, then L, L, and so on. Look. Hello to all. In next line, because loop executes 13 times. First for H, then E, then L, then L, then O, and so on. You can count it will execute 13 times that's why I print hello in a next line every character in a next line now what we need why we need uh, accessing a file character by character uh, for example if we want to count the vowel Vowels from the file, blanks from the file, number of capital letters, number of small letters, number of digits, and so on. So many logics are derived from there. I use, uh, for example, I take a variable count. For example, count is equal to 0. And this is my uh, count, count is equal to count increment by 1. I increment count by 1 and after the ending of the loop I print the value of the count sorry count plus a not count plus a count plus 1 now this is my file hello to all I run this code Now look, hello to all. Every time each character in next line and last after full stop, after exiting from the loop, count is equal to 13. So it will print 13. Why 13? Because H1, E2, L3, then L4, O5, space 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 13. Now, no need to print uh, file character by character, but I access the file character by character. If I run this code, count is equal to length. In first section, we count a length by using length function. Here, I count the length by using count variable increment by 1. This is my file. And length of my file is equal to 30. This is my original file. Print S. This is my file. And this is my length of the file. So, question is. If we count the length by using length function, why we use this lengthy method? Means accessing a file character by character and to print the length of the file. So, the answer is that uh, if we want to count the blank spaces, for example, if A, A store a single character is equal to blank, single space or double space, uh, single space, sorry, double quotes or single quotes. Now, count increment only when a is equal to black in case of h it is not true so count is zero in case of e count only true here because a is equal to blank and here so number of blanks are two count so number of blank in a file or number of spaces, you can say spaces or blanks. So 
if i run this code look number of lines in the file are two this is my content of file hello to all if i change this file for example hello to all again blank in school now number of blanks is, blanks are increasing i save this file if i run this code again naturally number of blanks are as stored in abc.txt hello to all in school and number of blanks is are four so similarly you can uh, count a uh, number of uh, capital letter number of small letters and uh, there are many questions for you uh, you can uh, see my website for uh, these questions i give solution of these question on my website also but please try yours read the file abc.txt and count number of uppercase alphabet in a file number of lowercase and number of numerics or digits in a file and number of blanks fourth ka solution maine de diya hai i will give the solution of fourth Uh, so for solution you can go to my website and account of python dot com. But please try yourself, students. Please try yourself and comment and like. Please comment and like.